Hey there, what's going on guys? It's Andy the Mad Tatter and welcome back to another video. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different from my normal content, but this video is also going to go some way to explain why uh, I've not been putting out as much content as I've been putting out. It's not the primary purpose of this video, but I hope that the reasoning will become apparent to you uh, as we go along. Um, it's quite a serious subject in a way, this video. Um, it's not as serious for me as it perhaps is for other people, but there are still uh, matters that pertain to me within this video, uh, or certainly the Mad Tatter as a business. So I'm going to get straight into this. Uh, I set up the Mad Tatter... Uh, let me just get to the beginning of these pictures here. This picture here was a picture I took on my phone. As you can see, it was taken on the 19th of September 2018 uh, at five past eight in the evening. And that is from the moment my eBay store, uh, under the name The Mad Tatter, went live. Now, as you can probably see there just underneath, uh, the username, eBay username at the time was Ninja Jellyfish. It was just a randomly generated username at some point uh, for other things. And if we go into my uh, eBay ID history, which is something I'll be talking about with you in just a moment, if I can show you that one. I did have these in an order. There we go. So if we go into my eBay ID history here, you can see that the eBay username, uh, user ID, we changed that from Ninja Jellyfish on the 27th of December. Uh, sorry, that was active from the 27th of December 2012, and we changed the eBay account username on the 16th of November, about a month after the actual shop had launched, uh, because it was at that point that we decided that it was going to be viable and that we were going to give this a proper go. Uh, so from the 16th of November to present, the eBay user ID has been the Mad Tatter, and the shop ID has been the Mad Tatter, uh, both under this username and under the previous username. The other usernames that you see here are just other usernames that we've had the account under over the years by and selling different things uh, and doing little bits of different bits of dabbling here and there uh, but the mad tatter is the main sort of the main use of this account now now my first video was uploaded to youtube uh on when i can find that one there we go my first video was uploaded to youtube on the 6th of april 2019 uh, and very shortly after that and almost completely by accident to be honest with you although i was made aware of it elsewhere as well. Uh, I actually stumbled across another individual who'd started to trade under the name The Mad Tatter. Now, their eBay username changed. Uh, I keep getting this in entirely the wrong order. I do apologise. This is the account of the individual in question, which for some reason I can't zoom in on. There we go. Uh, this is the account of the individual in question. And as you can see, uh, as I said there, my first upload to YouTube was on was in uh, April 2019. And then in May 2019, uh, this other business set up as the hyphen mad hyphen tatter. And later, I hyphen am hyphen the hyphen mad hyphen tater, apparently. Um, that was actually done very recently. And that is what's prompted the start of this video. Um... This individual is now, it seems, scamming users and scamming sellers. In some cases, for some considerable amounts of money when you look at their feedback history. Now, I'm not here to sort of sit and dox this individual. Um, I will show you if you have been a victim of this seller. Uh, if you have been scammed by this seller, then I will show you how to find the relevant information to, to report this seller both to eBay uh, and to uh, the police and the relevant authorities, uh, both in your area and in his. Um, the element, the aspect of using the name was what put this person on my radar, and I've been watching this person fairly closely ever since. Uh, I haven't made too much mention of this. In fact, I don't think I've made any mention of this uh, thing that's been going on uh, in any of my videos. Uh, but I'm going to bring it to your attention now uh, before things start to get worse and potentially this could come back on me because I've been using the same name. Now, I don't really understand this person's motivation. This person could have been trying to trade off my quote-unquote success, although I don't really see myself as being hugely successful. I mean, I'm successful in terms of I run my own business, which is great, and I don't, you know, I'd never hold myself, I'd never uh, sort of put myself down for that. But I wouldn't say I'm the best eBay reseller out there, and I wouldn't say I'm the worst either. Uh... I, I realise it's a good name, don't get me wrong, it's a bloody good name, but if it, if a name is what you're after, I'll help you come up with a name, that's not a problem. Um, the, the issue that I had, obviously, initially was this, so I kept an eye on this person, uh, and I also stopped releasing as much information and content on YouTube, because I... 
kind of recognise the uh, person's personal details as being possibly a subscriber who's commented on a video previously. So I'm quite aware that this person is likely to be an eBay, uh, sorry, a YouTube subscriber. Um, but, and this is probably how they've got the information that they've got. Uh, yes, I did keep an eye on the stuff that they were selling. They were selling very similar stuff to the type of things that I would sell. And they were selling some absolute crap as well, to be quite frank, uh, which I wouldn't have touched with a barge pole. For instance, things like Juice Plus capsules, which, to be honest, I wasn't even sure you were allowed to sell on eBay. Uh, but, obviously, this individual has listed them, sold them, and then not supplied them. But we'll get into that one in a moment. So, yes, uh, I am pursuing the aspect of the name. Um, there is the relevant legal... Um, courses being followed in terms of protecting the name for the business and things like that as well. So that is something that I'm going to be personally pursuing as a civil matter if needs be. Uh, however, I'm hoping it won't have to go that far. I have spoken to eBay in relation to this and because they treat these names as a username as opposed to a business identity, then they're not protected unless it's a uh, copyrighted uh, or trademarked sort of entity. Uh, so we're looking into that sort of route potentially uh, as well. Now, um, if we just take a quick look at what it's possible to find about this individual. In fact, no. First thing I'll do. Sorry, I didn't really, I didn't really plan to have to make this video, as I say. So I didn't really script where it was going exactly. But first thing, what we'll do, we will look at uh, this individual's feedback. This, these feedback, these feedback um, reports have come. During the last month, uh, during the last couple of weeks, in fact, and there's for some considerable amounts of money on here. Now, this is something that I wouldn't have... I'm, I'm all for giving people a chance, and I'm all for innocent until proven guilty. But what you'll notice through the comments on these uh, eBay purchases, they're all from different usernames. Well, those top four are from the same username that bought all the Juice Plus capsules, uh, but the other entries here are from other usernames, and on more than one occasion... Uh, they've described that sent a tube of toothpaste and not a GTEC Hoover for $99.99. Uh, false tracking saying items have arrived and they haven't. Uh, there was another one which said about tooth sent toothpaste and not games. A liar and a cheat. Avoid do not give any money. Uh, complete scam dangerous seller do not trust. You have been warned. That was for £995 um, that that person has been taken for. Uh, the Hoover there was ninety nine ninety nine. Uh, there's four lots of 25 on the Juice Plus capsules, and there's some games at 13.49. So, as of today's date, the total that this individual has scammed from legitimate trusting eBay users uh, is £1,208.45p, uh, which is absolutely disgusting, to be quite frank. Uh, you know, there's there's a lot of legitimate eBay businesses out there, myself included, but I don't, you know, I'm not holding myself up as the example here. I'm talking about every single honest, law-abiding, legally trading, um, hard-working, hard-grafting eBay business out there. Um, people like this destroy the platform. They destroy the trust that eBay is built on, uh, and they destroy potentially destroy reputations as well. Uh, and again, this is why I'm sort of making this video. So I'll just give you a quick zoom in uh, on some of these uh, feedback items here. No items received, no items received, no items arrived waiting for a refund, false tracking provided, sent toothpaste, sent toothpaste, and complete scam. Uh, yeah, and this is all information that's publicly available. Uh, I'm not, you know, you, you don't have to go to any great lengths to find this information. Uh, I've just put it all together for you. So, uh, yeah, we'll just quick, take a quick look at this individual's uh, account again, because I can't remember if I've done it. Uh, they were bargains by... Well, they've changed the name quite a lot, to be fair, but then again, so have I. It's not a problem. Uh, bargains by the Sea seemed to be their major account from the 5th of April 2019, and then 7th of May was when they changed to the-mad-tata. From the 7th of May to the 9th of October, uh, they then changed to I hyphen am hyphen these hyphen mad tater, uh, presumably because they can't spell. Now, um, if we go onto Google 
I'm not signed into anything here. I'm not pre-signed into eBay. If I click onto eBay link there now, you'll see I'm not signed in or anything like that. So this is all information that you can access freely uh, without actually having to, to log into eBay. So this is mainly for those people, if you have been a victim of this individual, um, this is how you can find the information to pass to the relevant authorities. So if we go to the Mad Tata shop, the Mad Tata shop eBay. Once you bring the research results there, you'll find that my store is the first store that comes up. Um, and yep, yeah, so that's me. And the link to my store is always in the description for the YouTube videos. So if you have any other link that is pur pur purporting to be the Mad Tata, believe me, they are not. If it's not the link that is in my videos, if it's not this link that you can see in the top address bar here, uh, ebay.co.uk forward slash str forward slash the Mad Tata, all one word, it isn't me. Um, and don't believe a word of anybody trying to say it's me. Don't believe it's anybody affiliated with me. I work as a part of my, well, my family do work with me, my wife works with me, um, but this is my business. There's no other licensed mad tatters out there uh, as a result, you know, other than me, essentially. Now, when we get down to the mad tatter shop here, which is this other individual, what you'll find, there's their username, i hyphen am hyphen the hyphen mad hyphen tater. Um, there's no items in their shop at the moment now. They have been reported to eBay, uh, presumably by the people who have uh, been scammed by them. Uh, and they've also been reported by me, as I say, for the uh, you know the misrepresentation with the name there. Now, I totally understand eBay's position on not being able to necessarily act on the name aspect of things. So that's why I say I'm, I'm going to handle that myself, not a problem at all. But um, for those of you who may have been a victim of this individual now... Okay, there's only a small sample there in the feedback from the last month that have been scammed, seemingly. Um, it doesn't mean that more aren't going to come out of the woodwork. So if you go looking on YouTube or if you go Googling for people that you know have been scammed by the Mad Tatter, inevitably you're probably going to find me at some stage, and that's why this information is going out there. It's going out there to help anybody who's a victim of this person. So when you click onto a person's uh, feedback score there, Again, this is not logged in at all, so you can see this freely uh, and, and quite easily. When you go into their information there, what you'll see is uh, this box just over on the right here. Uh, if you view... Uh, maybe you do have to be logged in to see the one that I'm looking at. Is their eBay store? Let's try it from there. I did actually look up quickly how to do this beforehand. There you go. So once you get into this screen here, which I access through clicking into their eBay store and then clicking on the username, this takes you to the user information. And that's where you'll find uh, like the most recent feedback, etc., uh, and whatnot as well. If you click into this business info link here, um, I'm not going to do it on screen because it immediately brings up this individual's name and address details. And I'm, like I say, I'm not here to actively dox somebody uh, or actively sort of put flack on somebody. But people who out there who have been scammed or who have been a victim of this unscrupulous individual uh, trading under my name and taking people for money that isn't his... Um, this is where you will find his information. If you click into this business info here, immediately you will find this individual's name, uh, the address that they've registered to their eBay account, a telephone number which I don't think is genuine, and an email address that I don't think is genuine either. Now, interestingly, they have actually changed part of their address uh, on this over the last month or so. Like I say, I've been watching this seller quite closely. So um, when it brings up their address... They, it just says the number of a building and then a street underneath. Now, that number um, is actually in a block of flats or is a, is a number within a block of flats. So if you're going to go and look this individual up to report them to the police or anything like that, then um, you will need to do a little bit of detective work just to Google the postcode and find out what blocks of flats are on that road and you'll you'll quite quickly find out which block of flats this individual uh, is actually based at. Now, in terms of reporting them uh, and in terms of reporting them to uh, the authorities, 
this individual, uh, as we can see, if we go into uh, let's go into items for sale, there aren't any at the moment. I think eBay might actually be trying to pull him off the platform, which is great, um, although not necessarily great for anybody that might have already been scammed. So if we go into all listings there and we go into the sold listings, uh, we scroll down, you know, all these kinds of things. It's, it's interesting that you see the same things over and over again, actually. You know, this bracelet is something that somebody's been scammed on. Uh, it's one of the feedback items. And, oh, look, you know, it's down here, sold again as well. Uh, so it's a little bit dubious in that respect. Um, if we, But if we go into uh, a recently sold item, I think as well because I'm not logged in, I don't see quite as much. But they're based in St. Leonard's on Sea in East Sussex. So the... By all means, report them to your local police because you're the victim of the crime. Uh, but also, it is prudent to report them to the individual's local police as well, uh, which is Sussex Police. And I will leave a link to the description. I'll leave a link in the description there uh, for that one. I have, in fact, got... Uh, if we go into... I have, in fact, got it to hand, and I should have probably just had it open in a tab so it's a little bit slicker, but I'll get it this way. Uh, do, 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 do. If I get it this way there, um, won't do searching for them on eBay, will it? Uh, but if we go to Sussex Police website there, the link that I'll give you is immediately one for how to report a crime. Um, and, and you can submit a, a crime report directly with Sussex Police as well as your own local force. There is also uh, a department which deal with... Uh, specifically deal with online fraud as well and uh, if you wanted to report to them they are action fraud and that's what their website looks like and they they report sort of cyber crime and uh, things like that as well so those are the avenues to go down to report if you are a victim of this individual that is pretty much what i wanted to talk about today guys in terms of this video um I will be getting back to some kind of content being put out there at some point soon. I realise I'm behind with sales roundups and updates there again, uh, but I hope from seeing this sort of thing you can understand why. September and October, uh, certainly the back end of September and the beginning of October have been particularly difficult months. Trade has been quite quiet. Now, whether that's because <laughs> of, uh, you know, me getting some sort of undeserved reputation through somebody else using the name or not, I don't know. But I know a lot of other people have been reporting it's quiet as well uh, at this time of year. So I, I, And I remember it being reasonably quiet this time of year last year as well. Uh, but obviously I'd only just really started up then full time, so I wasn't quite sure what to expect. So um, yeah, the sales roundups. This video is probably going to be more exciting than the next couple of sales roundup videos, but I will get those out to you within the next couple of days. Lastly, people, if you have been a victim of this individual, um, I really sincerely feel for you. Um, having been the victim of fraud online myself before as well, uh, and also having recently been a victim of, of having my wallet stolen, um, yeah, I know how bad it is to, to, to be in that position. And if there is anything I, as the real mad tatter, uh, if you like, can do to help anybody who's been a victim uh, of this con man mad tata um you know please get in touch and i'll try and help you as in any way that i can i'm not on any social media or anything like that the only place you will find the mad tata is either on ebay or on youtube uh i'm not on any facebook or any of those sort of things so that's um you know that's the ways to contact me and that's the way to know that you're dealing with the genuine mad tata in that sense um but that was just the video for today guys i'm sorry it's not an overly thrilling or uh, happy tone to it, uh, but I really wanted to get this information out there and, and especially try and support the people who've potentially been scammed by this individual for considerable amounts of money. Uh, I will be submitting my own report to the police as well, uh, although the, the, the the name aspect of things is a uh, is a civil matter. Uh, I will be reporting to the police uh, that I have evidence um sort of pertaining to this individual potentially scamming people so uh, if anybody else is making a report i can provide the evidence that i have uh from from somebody that's been watching them for a period of time now so um there we go guys not the nicest subject to have to uh, put out there but i thank you all so sincerely for listening as always um if you do want to subscribe to the channel 
I most I very much appreciate that and do give the bell icon a little tickle there in the corner um just just for edit if you to, for any notifications when I do upload I feel like a real shill saying that at the end of this video as well but it's kind of become second nature um I do the the main purpose of this video was just to get that information out there and uh, try and hopefully support some of those people that have been taken for a ride by a dishonest eBayer that's bringing us all into uh, ill repute. So um, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day, and I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.